As an entrepreneur, when you start working with an investor, there are some compromises that are going to have to be made. And one way of thinking about that is when you make your first pitch to an investor, the investor starts formulating in their mind what they think this company should become, what the product should be. And that may not be the same idea that you have in your head as the entrepreneur. And actually part of picking the right investors is, is there alignment between these visions, the vision that the investor shares and the vision that the entrepreneur shares? And no matter how close those two visions are, sometimes there's going to be some differences. And as an entrepreneur, what you have to decide is, when the investor's vision is slightly different, are you going to adjust? Are you going to course correct? And when you're thinking about doing that and you're thinking about those compromises, it's important to take a step back and think about it from the investor's perspective. They're not in the weeds. They're not in the detail. Maybe they're looking at the bigger picture. Maybe they're looking at other companies in the marketplace. And you have to constantly evaluate, you know, should you course correct or should you really remain on your vision? Ultimately, though, if you're taking money from investors, there are going to be compromises you have to make. They're going to ask you to do things that may not have been your first priority. And sometimes you're just going to have to do that. Um, and that comes down to, you know, making sure that your investors are really good and that their ideas are sound. And if they are, sometimes they're going to tell you something that you didn't think of and you're going to have to correct.